I got too many hoes. He do, doing all that wifey shit, knowing he don't fuck with you. Hi, Tanalenses. Don't mind the AC. If you're in Jersey, you know it's hot as hell. Welcome to a new vlog with your girl Tanalenses. Today, y'all, we're gonna start off this vlog with a photo shoot. Um, I had pitched this idea to Eliza, and she just kind of expanded on it from there so the girls and I are gonna be doing a tennis court photo shoot at night at night she seems fun you the but um yeah basically that's what we're gonna be doing tennis skirts crops tees white shirts sneaks it's gonna be a cute little vibe so let me show y'all what I'm wearing hoops are target jewelry is thrifted this is thrifted these two rings are I think thrifted as well they speak by me Shirt I thrifted, skirt I thrifted, and I'm gonna wear my Converse. I don't have more right now, but I'm gonna wear my Converse. Um, so yeah, y'all, this is the little fit. I'm gonna wear this slip bun. It's giving tennis racket, tennis ball ad. Like I just, I need y'all to see the material. Your girl thick as fuck right now. See y'all right now. <laughs> Y'all see the vibes about to give? Let me show y'all my fit. Dance for you. Whoa, whoa. Showing my ass, my dear ear to the world. But yeah, y'all, it's about to be lit. We tennis. <laughs> we tennis. Hey. Vibes. We're in we our vibes. playing sports era. I mean, I had the skirt, so I might as well learn how to use it. There you go, cutie. Period. Period. How are you feeling, Sus? Nope. Hot as hell, titty sweating. <laughs> <laughs> now here. I think it's time to get sexy. I think it's time to show a little skin. I think so too. Think Shut up, to yeah. Oh yeah. The whole fit is thrifted, guys. Shoes are Vans. Thrifted, thrifted, thrifted. Face by me. Yep. And the good Lord. And one size set it spray. Mm. I hit the reverse. Oh, well, we definitely got to do a TikTok. Win, sponsor her please, Serena. Sponsor her, Serena. Thumbnail. Guys, I'm hot. We're still going, and it's coming out way with Jordan because Jordan's eating right now. Hold up. Yes, Jordan. Yes, yes Jordan. Yes, Jordan. Ready? We got us some fruit. We got the liquor. We got the beef. Y'all, it is packed. I've never, I've never seen this beach this bad. Oh yeah, hold on. You gonna fuck your music in? Turn, turn, turn. Come on. 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 I ain't going in that nasty ass water, bitch. I seen the TikToks. Yeah. Let's see, I just got the speaker from Five Below. I just gotta make sure. Um, it was all good. Ooh, it's okay. When y'all, I don't remember which. Oh, y'all ate a little bit. I ain't tripping the grip of my purse. I don't get it because he did it first. Don't know why I hit the reverse. I ain't tripping the grip of my purse. 
didn't know already, like, I am a Pisces, I'm a water sign, I love the beach, I love nature, I love, but, like, let's subtract the bug. I don't like bugs, but, like, anything else, beachy, anything water, anything like that, I'm gonna love, because I just love, 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 like, just nature, 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 like, it's just, mm, eight, 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 eight. Oh, the kids are just living their best life, running around, being so cute and just innocent. I drank all my drink. I don't know how I drank that entire bottle. We're not gonna talk about it. We're not gonna talk about it. Yeah. Tantalizer, so y'all will be happy to know I ordered a new mail for the car and she's in the mail. I just am too lazy to actually go to the mailbox. I have a little time before a friend comes. She's uh, doing her last minute stuff. Then we're actually gonna head over to the Sir concert. This is the drink of choice for tonight. Yeah, I had her when I went to the beach the last couple of times and baby, she does me right every fucking time. This is, we're gonna be in a concert where music is just playing and swaying for hours. Then, you know, you need, you need, you need the vibes. You need the energy. I'm real cute. Got on my little crop and then I have on the skirt and some little sandals. I already got my first compliment because I've been outside. So you right, doggy? Hop over there real quick, and I'm gonna catch y'all when we get there. Analyzes. This is a great test to see how the mount is gonna hold up while we're driving. Hi, girls. We are actually, I'm sorry, I'm super hungry. Oh yeah, my cousin called me. All right, y'all, we back. I had to answer my cousin because I called him by accident trying to call my sister. Oh, <laughs> I went to go pick up some water yesterday after work. And I was tired. Okay, this is gonna be a problem. I was tired, so I didn't like bring the water into the house. You know, I'm just like that. That's a little bit better, but it's still a little shaky. I'm probably just gonna have to invest in them. A real good quality one. But yeah, I was tired up to work, so I didn't want to bring the water into the house. Usually my sister brings the water, but she was on a game show with Pam and So I told her to yesterday, I was like, yo, um, when you wake up tomorrow, just grab the water out of my car. Y'all, I totally forgot to like wake her up and get the water. And I'm rushing now because I'm trying to go outside. Drop into the year girls on on her way outside. So I just left the water on the porch. So hopefully that shit don't melt by the time she grab it because that'll be funny, but hopefully it don't. Back on subject, absolutely are on our way to a day party. We're gonna meet our girl Elsie there. Y'all haven't met Elsie on camera yet, so y'all gonna see her. Cool chill, R&B type vibe. I've been seeing this kid, like he DJs, and they say if you wanna go to the hot events, follow the DJ. Show up when we find Elsie. I'm being spiritual food and today basically we were talking about how we have to continue to spread God's gospel um that it's not only you know righteous for us to learn about God um it's also righteous for us to continue to spread his word a lot of people have misconceptions about God and his truth and his will but spreading his word um is something that he desires when he places a desire in your heart for you to get to know him and you know really get to know him and have a good relationship with him he also places in your heart the desire to want to spread that gospel so not only protect yourself with that spiritual word but spread the word to others so that's my message for today but yeah i wanted to talk to y'all yesterday because i ain't you know close off the vlog from yesterday well close off yesterday's discussions with elsie we went to the day party and it was real cute talk about why i'm never ever ever going to Lil Tijuana or any of those like lounges lit 21 or any of those type places 
ever again because they're scammers. Walked in, it wasn't that many people there yet. Um, so Elsie and I was like, oh, we'll just walk around the block and smoke a little bit before we go and give some more people time to show up upstairs. We go to the bar and, you know, we want to get a little drinky drink. And the bartender's like, oh, well, y'all can get a drink with me. But um, if you want, like, any food or any, like, specialty drinks, like any of their type of cocktails, then we have to sit at the table. While we're dining, um, we have one drink and then we decide to order another round of drinks and get, like, some food. We both got tacos and two drinks each, right, y'all? We noticed that there's a sign at the front of the bar that says only cash. So, I mean, that means for the bar, it's only cash, right? But like I said, their sign wasn't there when we first got there. It got there when they noticed a lot of black folks showed up, right? And stay with me, because if y'all know what I'm talking about, y'all know, right? By the end of us dining, we want to just get it uh, get up from the table and just like walk around and stuff like you know and dance and stuff without having to like sit at the table Ask the server for the check and she comes up to us and she was like unfortunately we're only taking cash And I was like, well, why wasn't that something we had known before? Um, we don't have enough cash. So what do you expect us to do? She's like, well, there's an ATM downstairs Why do we have to go to an ATM, right? I said, well, is the cart machine like not working it for the entire restaurant because how are you going to have a restaurant open if the cart machine isn't working she was like oh no it's just we were told we can't use cart up here on the uh, rooftop level the rest of the entire restaurant has working systems but up here you guys have decided we're only using gas and now whoever doesn't have enough cash has to go spend who knows how much on atm fees plus the fees that you're going to be charged for your bank no so i take my little pretty self downstairs and i go to the bar downstairs and i'm like hey can i pay for this they're like no because it's different from upstairs to downstairs and i was like well we don't have enough money for the bill we don't have enough cash and he was like we'll use the atm no that's not what i'm about to do and i find it real funny that you see a whole bunch of black people upstairs enjoying themselves and you randomly decide that you're not going to allow them to use cards and they have to use cash by using your atm system Come on, man. I'm not stupid. I've decided to no longer dine at those type of establishments because they got us effed up. Like, they got us effed up. Tell me if I'm crazy or not. Because I know I'm not. But tell me if I'm crazy or not. Like, come on. And mind you, what's funny, when I asked them about that, how it only they've only decided not to let us use cart upstairs, they said, oh, well, that was the manager's decision. So the manager decided on this. That's insane, guys. But I just want to let y'all know, we d were able to use card and we got up out of there without having to pay all them extra fees mind you y'all two drinks and two orders of tacos was 130 dollars they had a service fee on there they had automatic gratuity on there they had a liquor fee a food fee like these places are out of control <sighs> but i'm over it we moving forward and i just won't be dying here dying there anymore and if you're black go with discretion because you see how they do us um and r.i.p to sonia massey um i don't really talk about political stuff on here um but r.i.p to that beautiful black woman who was murdered by a um white cop recently um and how do you how do you call for help and then the same help help murdered you in your own home it's absolutely insane um so we're gonna pray for her sending prayers to her family um i'm just praying for all of the black men and women who have been suffering for years due to oppression and racial injustice period it's just a sad hard truth for us but me being the christian that i am the upcoming christian that i am i know that god has he has a new system of things and I have faith and I have hope that I will one day make that new system so I can enjoy a life um, that doesn't have racial injustice, a life where I don't have to deal with all of the negativity that's, that is brought upon having black skin. It's sad, man. But no more of the, of the sad stuff. Ooh, I kill him like cereal. Where the milk? I'm about to make cereal. What you about to eat? Honey nut cereal. Like, bro, where the cereal? All right, first you gotta grab a bowl. Grab the milk, make sure it ain't old. I see a op, so I grab. Oh, oh I'm tripping. I'm tripping. My phone. I got.
Put the cereal, then the milk. Lean over the tantalizers. I didn't even get to update y'all yesterday. Um, <clears throat> after I was outside because I was just tired. Oh, my camera died while I was at the gym. So, yeah, that's why y'all only see that little bit of footage. But, like, we was eating. We were eating. Like, I could just feel myself getting stronger and stronger and stronger. The thing that I'm really, really working it on is, like, really just up in my mobility. I noticed that I have, like, some internal rotation issues and a lack of ankle mobility. So, that's going to be the two things we're really, 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 really working on. Um just strengthening those joints strengthening those muscles so that we can be the strongest we can be oh i didn't even mention y'all so <laughs> so i actually there was like a haitian spot there's a haitian spot like 10 minutes from the gym so i went y'all i got me some jean jean and some grill y'all i have some leftovers like i said today we're just gonna relax rejuvenate um I might head over to Walmart because I want to pick up some protein powder because I've been craving protein shake. I haven't protein shake in a while. And pick up like some little travel size things because y'all know we going to Charlotte next week. I'm trying to finish this little weekly vlog so that by the time Thursday, next Thursday comes around and I'm at the airport, that'll be the start of Charlotte vlog. But yeah, y'all just wanted to catch y'all up about yesterday because like I said, camera died. So it is what it is. But Okay, y'all. I'll catch y'all probably later. Probably pop. So we're back. Um, like I said, we have a few errands to run. Like, I don't know. I'm just feeling good. I'm just feeling happy. I'm feeling joyous. So we're going to do a little shopping. This place closes at 7, but we're going to get everything done. It's 5.39 now. So let's see once we get to Walmart because I have to stop at Walmart um, for a few things for myself and my mom. Then we gotta stop at Rainbow. I want like some tank tops. See if I can get like a little body con dress. <laughs> um, and then I also want to stop at Ross. And yeah, those are it. Up to also see if um, they have a few things in Target, but I already know I don't need to go in there because mm -mm, I don't need to go in there. To Dunkin' Donuts to give me a little donut because I need a little snack because I got like a little 25 minute drive. I need a little snack, a little sun sweet. Mind you, you gotta go. Well, they're not going to be the freshest because, you know, the freshest donuts are like 5 o'clock in the morning. But if you go like, they close at like 7 or 8. If you go like around this time, girl, I got, I paid for one donut. I got two. Like I told y'all, I have, I have 0% business being in any of these stores. But I'm in a good mood. And for me, a good mood me spending some money so many questions why was the the Tylenol locked up and why the fuck was there security in there like yeah I'm never coming back going back to that Walmart ever ever again hold up Girl, stop playing. It's not 10K. We're not spending that much. No, no, no. Oh. Hi, tantalizers. I look so stinking cute today. Like, when it comes to dressing, that's one thing I'm going to do. That's one thing I'm going to do. Wednesday, about 2 o'clock. Well, it's one forty-seven, but about 2 o'clock. I round up. Um, I actually, why is there, there is no battery? My battery is dead. I don't know how I keep forgetting to get batteries before I leave the house, but the camera is dead. And I just charged up batteries yesterday too. Just charged it up. But I'm probably going to head over to Takaria and get me something to eat and just relax. Yeah, that's what I think I'm going to do. Because my cousin's not answering the phone. Yeah, I'm not waiting for him. So, I guess I'll catch y'all when I go. Hey, Tantalizers. We're back home in our bed, in our robe. Oh, I just love just being comfortable in my space. I just wanted to speak with y'all briefly about this interview that I went to today. So, the position in itself is something similar that I've done before, working in behavioral health, working with students with DDD, and just basically transition the, transitioning, helping them transition into, you know, their adult years, uh, and just getting them ready for success, basically. And it's something that um, I've mentioned before, in my previous roles where I've noticed that there's definitely been a lack in preparation 
and basically just those those transferable skills that you need in order to succeed in life you know definitely notice some lack in the areas and the fields that i've worked in, in different positions but what's funny about this position right y'all so i was supposed to interview last week and i wasn't feeling good because i had the concert that day before my voice is a little hoarse so i asked her schedule for the next week and you when she first emailed me about the position she asked me for my schedule that week and the next which is this current week and when I email her and let her know, hey, I'm not available, I'm not feeling too well, she was like giving me like, oh, I'm going to be really busy next week. Girl, you're the one who asked me for next week's schedule, but okay. Um, she didn't really ask us much about ourselves. We were asking her more questions than she was asking about ourselves. You know, in an interview you hear, why, why do you feel like you're good, a good applicant for the role? You know, how do you think you could, you know, be a success here? All these things. She asked us nothing about ourselves. When I noticed that she was kind of sitting there like, I was like, oh, well, you know, what's the day-to-day -day position of the role? How does that look? What would I be doing if I get, to, like, you know, asking her questions, prompting her. And it's weird because it seemed like she wanted us to prompt her in this interview as if she's the one, not the one running the interview. It was so weird, y'all. But after it was done, I prayed to God and I said, you know what, God, is this position for me, then you will you will see fit that I'm here, you know? And I've had, my mom always says that I have like the runaway gene when I don't like something at a job, I just run away, which is true because I know that I have a degree to fall back on. And I can't really use that excuse anymore so much because it's getting harder and harder to find positions that I feel comfortable in and that are paying me the what I think I'm worth. I'm on as many interviews as I need to until I feel like the role I, I would be in like I said is somewhere where I'm comfortable somewhere I feel like I can grow somewhere where I feel like I can make an impact and you're paying me accordingly I need a living wage guys a living wage but yeah y'all like I said to more interviews if this is meant for me then it'll be if not then it won't but I did do some a few a few applications uh, this last week these last couple days so Hopefully we'll hear something back. I'm going to just keep my toes crossed because I'm ready to move on. I'm ready to leave my current position. I'm ready to start new. And school is starting and this is the perfect time for me to start interviewing and get my applications in. Because like I said, I really want to go and get my master's and you know get into the field of education. Um, so yeah. But y'all, I'm still working on you know getting this makeup right. I'll go to the store, buy all these products that the girls say to do, say to get, and it still don't feel like, I still feel like my makeup is sweating. It looks shiny. It looks greasy. Like, so I don't know. I give up. Maybe I'm going to have to just invest in one of these, like, makeup classes. One of the girls is having. I don't know. But that's enough yapping. I didn't yap for almost six minutes now. So I just wanted to catch y'all up on that. One more week to CLT. One more week to CLT. One more week till CLT. Y'all, I'm so cute. I don't know where we at. Time to get these done. There's the before. And so y'all see this? Like, I've always loved this like creamy white right here. But I feel like that might be a powder. I don't think they're gonna have that as a color. Cause this is. All it came up more for you again. Y'all, I really don't even feel like putting the camera on a mount, so I'm gonna just talk to y'all real quick. Just wanted to show y'all the vibes. It's creamy and steamy marshmallow coconut vibes, okay? We ready. And then the feces. Tia ate this up, and y'all know how Cindy get down. We don't even gotta talk too much, like. Like I said, y'all, we're just gonna hope and pray that everything fits in this book bag because I'm not paying for a check-in bag. I'm only bringing flat shoes and I'll probably wear sneakers on my feet just in case. But like, I'm not paying for it, y'all. But it's not happening. So we're gonna have to figure it out. We're gonna have to <laughs> put some motion in the ocean and figure it out with Steve because we leave on Thursday and it is Saturday and I'm booked and busy the next three days. Tuesday, hair appointment. Wednesday, I picked up a shift. Well, I was ready on schedule. So I'm literally not even going to sleep Wednesday night. I'm literally staying up 
and then just going to the airport Thursday morning. So, <laughs> y'all see y'all later. You're so <laughs> <laughs> we did say the next time we came, we was getting inside. <laughs> I wasn't what? fucking around. It ain't cool. The last time is cool. Who hates me? <laughs> Oh, that's some Pisces shit right there. I'd probably. <laughs> Knock him. I was screaming the way you got in there. Oh my god, that was too funny. I was screaming the way you got in there. You were like. <laughs> party, 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 party. Okay, so from we sh uh, we'll be cheers to to the healing, shot to abundance, to peace. Heavy on the peace and the joy. That those those two coincide in my opinion. Confidence and joy. Confidence and joy. Period. Abundance and love and peace and joy, all these Christ like qualities that we want to exemplify to the world. So, cheers. Come on now, come on now, girl. Come on, cook. What this here? I should look. I made a little green bean and then I made some like bubble beef. Yes. I got too many hoes.